So in front of me, we have one of the coolest trucks in Hawaii. I remember seeing this last time when you went to the meet and you had like the wood top. You didn't even have it like this. But this is Neil. This is his K truck. And um, what do you like? Just tell me, just really walk me through this whole thing, honestly. So uh, <laughs> it's a 92 Subaru Sandbar Classic. That's for sure. Five speed, no amenities, no AC, no power steering, no four wheel drive, none of that. Just the basic, you know. Yeah. I got this little quick release. Did it come with this? This is a boating trophy. <laughs> it came with the regular sandbar wheel, but uh, my friend does sailboat racing and he got this trophy. So you could, it goes like that. Is this sketchy driving with this? Oh, it's pretty sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> with this... no power steering too, it's, it's hard to- Oh yeah, cause you, you actually know. have to try. You gotta like really turn it, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got your two little ACs right there. All right, so this, how did like, how did this even come about? So this dude right here, um, he's, he's the guy with the, the green um, sandbar van, right? Yeah, yeah so I'll show that in a second. He works for Amazon and stuff. He, he had like a bunch of supplies at the Amazon warehouse they're building. So he built this box out of it. I pulled up to that car meet that you saw. Yeah, I remember you just had a wooden box. box. Yeah. I need to find who owns this. So this is a 92 sandbar, manual, classic interesting exhaust setup but back here are you kidding me ac tv hot pot bed lights i need to see who owns this so i can ask them what made them do this why oh my god look at this thing well yeah i gotta find this person he saw it he's like i can make something better than that yeah he did so yeah i can't like when you bought your k truck though did you think you wanted to do this yeah, I watched uh, I watched you actually, yeah. and then I watched this other this Japanese guy who did this, and he just went camping in it and did like a bunch of stuff in it. It looks super fun. So yeah. It's fun. I like this. And I bought this thing, and then I built that box on it. You it did it yourself? Shitty. Yeah, the, the first wooden one, yeah. I did it myself. It was uh, terrible. It was like leaky. It was, yeah. It was. I did it work for like a week or two. And, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Luckily, I ran into this guy. He built this and much better. How much was like this to build? He, like he how much did. you think it costs? Like I guess you don't say how much you paid, but how much would you say something like? Cause I'm sure someone's gonna wanna know like, yo, I would love to have this in the back of my K truck. What would you say like three, four? Well, I've done my research on these like campers that are already made out of fiberglass and stuff you can buy online. Those go for like four to seven K. Yeah. But this, I can't really tell you just because the materials used for it was already being used to build a warehouse. Yeah. The materials were just free, like already. Yeah. yeah. Stuff, so. yeah. I'd say if this costs like three G's, though, that's not a bad price. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. like if somebody wanted to buy it for three G's, I would definitely sell it to them. For three you would sell it for three G's? Like the just the back piece? Oh, okay, so yeah, that's not bad then. It sticks out a little bit. I was talking about the mirrors. Like I can't even see the mirrors. Like I don't know how you daily drive this. It's it not only is the wheel sketch, but like this sticks out right there and then that's your whole back and you can't even see behind you yeah, yeah. which i feel like just makes life very it's difficult pretty, yeah it's pretty sketchy i love the fact that it has dual windows too did you like have any like really input on like design or like you were just like build me a little bit we drew like a little diagram and whatnot yeah kind of got that together oh yeah here he is right here oh yeah, yeah. what's up what's so up you can speak about it you said you wanted to get on camera so how much do you think something like this would cost to build i know someone's gonna want to know like a range well this will come anywhere from I mean, 23 to 4 grand. Okay, that's still not bad though. Yeah. Let's get this Torv inside. So, this microwave, this isn't ever in here. Th that's just randomly in here right now because I'm moving houses. Uh -huh. But uh, the table, that thing folds up into a table. This folds out into a bed. TV comes off the wall and mount and stuff, you know, to the Xbox. And you're able to power everything with this? Yeah, and then, you know, the solar panels that were on the roof too. Yeah. That was one where... You have the LED lights. Yeah, all around here. This whole thing lights up at night. You gotta get a video of this at night. Yeah, yeah send me one, send me one. Yeah, yeah, yeah send me yeah, one. Yeah. And then speakers up there. Yeah. Have you ever slept back here? I'm assuming, yeah? Yeah, Yeah. That straight piped muffler. Where's that from? You just got like a... It's an HPS yard. exhaust. Oh, really? From, uh, yeah, it's from... So my friend who does a lot of Miata stuff and whatnot. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So, just pretty much deleted the cat. Yeah. Got some pipe in the garage and just welded it up. I guess it is I guess it is pretty loud. It is pretty loud. It didn't sound loud when you were coming in, 
but when you get into it, it gets pretty loud. You just need a car from JDM Hawaii, yeah! yeah. Well, I bought it about, uh, probably about seven months ago. Okay. Is there a reason you wanted a cave-in, or? Well, actually, you know, I happened to be going, like I said, I was going through, um, uh, Diamond Head. Okay. And I happened to, uh, see the color combination. And I happened to see what it looked like. And I said, oh, that's, that was interesting. And On a then, different truck, though? It was a different truck. Yeah. And then, I mean, I bought it. And then I told them that, you know, I wanted to change some things up before I, I received it. So, I had them, uh, I mean, go through it, go through the seats. And yeah. Everything. And you wanted this color pattern? I wanted this color pattern. And also put the rims on it there. Yeah, I like those rims a lot. Right. And then, uh, then I had them actually take it to uh, the stereo shop, put another stereo in it. Oh yeah, you got the double then. Nice, right. nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, the wheel too? No, what I did, I went to, uh, I mean, I went to them at first, I ordered a, a steering wheel. I mean, they got it, but I didn't want that particular one. I didn't really like it. So I went on Amazon myself and I found this one. This one in particular, this it actually, it actually was hooks up to a, uh, post hook to a Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. But I got it modified so it hooks to uh, this, this Subaru itself. Yeah. So that's, that's a, one of the kind. Do right you there. get better space, a little knee space with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it gives it a different look too. Yeah. You know? Now the wood grain is perfect. Yeah. No, I've really, I made a short little clip on this one just because it's like it's done up. It's like fully. There's, there's nothing more you could really do to it. Right, right. And I want it classy. You know what I mean? As far as I mean, I want to take it from from uh, extreme. I want to keep it all in intact as yeah. far as you know what I mean the details. And you like the front end on these more than but the. Actually, that's what attracted me too at the front end. The front end gives me you know, an older look. Yeah. You know what I mean a throwback to the fifties. You know what I mean? And it actually. For me, you know, I, I like the aesthetics of it, so. And this isn't your daily though, right? No, it's not my daily, yeah. you know what I mean? This is actually something I bought for my daughter because she's got a juice business. It's actually going back to California. Oh, nice, wow. Okay, so it's going to actually be her, her part of her business. So we're going to put the logos on it or whatever. Ah, and perfect, also, for the, in the windows. Right. Yeah, right. literally right here. And like, uh, yeah, and then I'm also actually get an automatic uh, awning that comes out you know mm. so that way you know that it actually the car itself it, it attracts people yeah I mean, it, it, as soon as i park it people come like actually what it is whatever they want to sit take pictures of it which is no no problem with me you know because it, it, I, I think it's an attractive car myself, yeah you know it's fun to drive really fun to drive you know, so. yeah it's fun driving slow cars fast <laughs>